unless you're a worm, you probably don't spend a lot of time thinking about dirt. But what if I told you one special type of soil is essential to the balance of life on our planet? It's called permafrost, and I'm gonna tell you what could happen if it melts. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. What is permafrost? It's ground that's been frozen for at least two years. When frozen, it's harder than concrete. It's found in the polar regions and holds a lot of organic material, including ancient microorganisms that have been trapped for a millennia. But with rising global temperatures, it's starting to thaw. And this isn't just bad news for the polar bears, it's bad news for all of us. Why should we care about the permafrost melting? Think of it like opening an ancient tomb. Only instead of unleashing a cursed mummy, we're unleashing ecosystem changes, greenhouse gases, and viruses. That's like twice as scary. In the US, permafrost lies under about 85% of Alaska. It's sensitive to surface temperatures and snow cover. As global temperatures rise, permafrost is thawing, causing infrastructure damage and releasing greenhouse gases, which exacerbate climate change. The Arctic permafrost holds about 1.7 trillion tons of carbon, double the amount currently in our atmosphere. When permafrost thaws, this carbon gets released as carbon dioxide and methane. Methane is especially concerning because it's over 25 times more effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide, which is the one scientists are already worried about. The most recent extensive thaw of the permafrost occurred approximately four interglacial periods ago, thousands and thousands of years ago, when the climate was approximately 1.5 degrees Celsius warmer than it was before pre-industrial society. Scientists know this from evidence found in Siberian caves. The formation of stalactites and stalagmites, those pointy rocks that hang down from and build up in caves, tell us there was once liquid water present, indicating the previous thaw event. Today, we're getting closer to another major thaw of permafrost, but what's particularly concerning is the unprecedented rate of current warming. To our knowledge, nothing like this has been observed in over 50 million years of geological history. And we aren't just worried about permafrost ice going away, we're worried about releasing what's frozen inside. Permafrost can harbor a variety of bacteria and viruses, some of which may be ancient and unknown to modern science. Researchers have found more than 400,000-year-old tiny organisms in thawed permafrost. This poses new health risks as modern humans and animals may have no immunity to these ancient pathogens. In 2016, for instance, anthrax spores were released from a reindeer carcass that had been frozen in Siberian permafrost, leading to a local outbreak. This incident was linked to a heat wave that melted the permafrost. And thawing permafrost is creating physical damage in the Arctic too. Permafrost is incredibly hard due to the ice that binds soil, rock, and organic matter, but its strength and solidity depend on temperature and ice content. When temperatures are low, the ground is as hard as concrete, making it challenging for construction and drilling activities. Now, cold hard ground might not sound like the most fun, but in this case, we want it to stay that way. Roads, buildings, and pipelines are literally sinking as the ground beneath them changes from hard ground to mush. People are losing their homes and their way of life. Scientists employ various methods to detect and observe permafrost changes. Remote sensing technologies like satellite imagery and aerial surveys monitor large areas for surface changes and temperature variations. Ground-based techniques such as drilling boreholes and using ground-penetrating radar offer an up-close view of composition and depth. These tools help track the extent of permafrost changes in real time. Humans aren't the only ones being affected by the changing ground. Animals and insects' lives are changing too. Researchers found that bugs like water fleas will likely thrive with the given water quality changes, but the overall diversity of insect species could go down. Thank goodness there's work being done to try to slow the thaw. Scientists are working on innovative strategies like using specially designed materials to insulate the ground, restoring natural landscapes to maintain surface vegetation, and implementing global scale measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. 
These efforts are aimed at stabilizing the permafrost and preventing the release of additional carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. Looking ahead, with advancing technology and a deeper understanding of permafrost dynamics, new generations of scientists are likely to bring fresh ideas and novel solutions, further improving our ability to mitigate the impacts of permafrost thaw. The ongoing fight against climate change is a collective endeavor, and the dedication of current and future researchers will play a crucial role in safeguarding these essential frozen regions. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.